NVIDIA all but abandons gamers at Computex, but hey, on the bright side, they're making Detroit become human become real. Microsoft used ChatGPT to create new PC coolant, and someone made a 3000 watt power supply. Who even needs that? Oh, that's right, NVIDIA card owners in 2030. And Jared found yet another card for me to hate. This is MetaPC's news, and hey, when life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons. What the hell am I supposed to do with these things? Demand to see life's manager. Make life through the day that it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the, the lemons. It's MetaPC's news time, let's go. Microsoft has finally found a use for Copilot. They're using AI <laughs> to invent a safer coolant and they dunked a PC into it. Check this out. Microsoft says it's, it's used its own agentic reasoning AI model to help develop and synthesize new immersion fluid for PC cooling. We've seen a lot of immersion cooling with PCs in the past, like oh, yeah. fish tank, PC builds, things like that. So they came up with this coolant and confirmed that it worked by dunking a motherboard into a vat of it. PC board server racks can be cooled by air, water, or connecting metal heat exchangers with fluid-filled tubing that thermally routes the heat of the process. You guys know all about this. Oh yeah, they know everything. But it's time for immersion cooling. Electrically non-conductive fluids that surround an entire motherboard or component. Is that like mineral oil? To help, yeah, like mineral oil, that okay. type of thing that you can you can use to cool uh, your system. But it presents environmental and health hazards. So they used agentic AI, so it's like a little bit more advanced version of Copilot. Maybe. That we don't get. We, yeah, you're not gonna get this one. This is a knowledge-based agent and a specialized chemistry agent that they hooked up together. They took two agents and they came together. And, and made another and agent. And made another agent. When one agent loves another agent. Very much. In the Microsoft Cinematic Universe, they come together <laughs> to make cooling for your PC. And then what did they do after they did that? Of course they had to run a game, right? They ran Forza. Uh, good job, Microsoft. You're using Copilot for uh, something somewhat helpful. Jack, do you know anything about old alchemy? Uh, not particularly, no. uh, I do. Uh, humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return to obtain something. No, that's Full Metal Alchemist. I'm talking about alchemy, like real world stuff. No. Somebody thought if you urinated into a container and left it there for mm -hmm. several days, that it would turn into gold. Fascinating. Same color, right? Okay. It makes sense. Okay. Uh, I think MSI did that with this card. They figured it out finally, because this card looks like it's made of solidified paint. Wow. Uh, MSI Supreme Titanium. This is a new flagship GPU designed for the wealthiest gamers. Uh, why do we keep getting GPUs designed for the wealthy? What are we doing here? It's seven thousand dollars. <laughs> Anyone? Check and it this has out. Eight gigs of VRAM. <laughs> eight, eight gigs of VRAM. The Supreme design is called the Titanium Edition. Uses real titanium. What? Real titanium. It's a lightweight yet durable material that gives a card a little high tech look. I wouldn't say this looks high tech. It looks like it looks like a cyber truck. Only a fifty ninety model. For now, they're not gonna expand, expand this into other cards, which is probably a good thing. For the best. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> probably for the best. Look at MSI. <laughs> Look making, at MSI go. Making gold stuff. Samsung is bringing G-Sync compatibility to their 2025 OLEDs for improved gaming experience. Uh, Sam Hunt, Sam Hung, <laughs> the CEO of Samsung. I guess my question is, is like, who's gaming on a, a TV, like PC gaming on a TV. Like it's, it's shocking how many people do Really? This. It, it really is. There's a lot of people who are like, big screen, me like big screen. Me hook up computer to big screen. These seems like uh, like fine TVs to experiment with, uh, coming with G-Sync compatibility. Uh, the latest OLEDs match the TV's refresh rate with the GPU's frame output, so that's gonna reduce like your screen tearing and your stuttering, things like that. Uh, and it works alongside Samsung's own technology. It's that motion, motion accelerator technology, uh, and that supports up to 165 hertz refresh rates. Okay, now I'm getting sold. 165 hertz is nice. Not just G-Sync though. Boys and girls, it oh. does have AMD's FreeSync Premium Pro. Wait, what? Yeah, AMD jumped on this. When did we too. get FreeSync Premium? And well, then after that, FreeSync free Premium Pro. That's a little extra. You gotta pay a little extra for Premium Pro. <laughs> FreeSync free Plus. This G-Sync support's gonna debut on their flagship S95F model, and then you'll see it in later models uh, later in the year as well. Intel's launched a $299 Arc Pro B50 card with 16 gigs of memory. Project Battle Matrix. These are workstations with 24 gig Arc Pro B60 graphics cards. We've gone from manifests to manifestation here. We've manifested destiny. And here it is. So 16 gigs. 
that's, on this card for two ninety nine. Three hundred bucks. That's actually really good. That's not bad at all. If you're looking to do a bunch of you know like machine learning type stuff, AI workstation types of things, this is a this is a perfectly viable option for two ninety nine. It's larger. Uh, while the larger Intel Arc Pro B60 slots in with a copious 24 gigs, the B60 is designed for Project Battle Matrix AI workstation sold as full systems, ranging from five grand to 10, uh, $500 per unit price tag for those 24 gigs. That's a, that's a steal. That's not bad. And uh, you're gonna see these start to roll out, be in the market Q3 of 2025. That's, that's just around the corner. It's coming up. Anyone interested in this card that could benefit from it at the price point, why not? If only there was a way to power all these cars. I mean, well, look at this. Uh, Asus just unveiled the way to do it. No way. They did not. Asus launches its Pro WS power supplies up to 3,000 watts. Jesus. And 450.90s. Holy crap. Who, who needs 450.90s? We built a PC here with 250.90s. You should check out the short. It was very great. And the top comments were like, what well, SLI is not real. Why, why do they have two? Well, <laughs> listen. AI, multiple monitors, G9s, there's a lot of reasons, but maybe you want more than just two. Maybe yeah. you want four. This power supply would be able to handle this. So assuming you need a power supply that can fully support four, this is it. This is a new workstation lineup, 3000 watts, full compliant, full compliance with PCIe 5.1, ATX 3.1 standards. So latest power connectors on all of this. Uh, and uh, they're gonna do three models on this with their workstation lineup. You're gonna get the 3000 watt, which is the big boy, 2200 and 1600 watt. For US households, neither 15 or 20 amp breakers will be sufficient. <laughs> so you're gonna have to do a little bit of upgrading in the infrastructure of your home. These are designed for a 240 volt input voltage. Like you'd need a 16 amp breaker and a completely different line that is not home power. We've got dual ball fan bearings, so longer lifespan, because you are gonna beat the crap out of these power supplies if you're using them at their full capacity. And then those aluminum heat sinks that you can see on there as well. Better cooling, lower noise, 80 plus platinum certified. Japanese capacitors, we all know those are the best to have in your power supply, right? 10 year warranty too. Driver, I hardly know her. <laughs> These boys have learned well. Nvidia grants RTX 5060 drivers to media willing to publish previews, not just previews. They want to control how these tests are done in the reviews. Uh, and will only allow you access to the drivers if you promise to test in a way that NVIDIA deems most necessary for these cards. To break it down, NVIDIA confirmed they're not going to do a press driver before the product launch of the 5060. So no review shared before or on the launch date. That's kind of what we thought leading up to Computex, right? Well, as it turns out, it's not true. NVIDIA had blocked drivers only to media that are willing to share previews. They said, sure, we'll give you some drivers, but you've got to share these previews. Um, our way. These media outlets were not able to freely choose what graphics cards and games that you would measure and with which settings you could select for the preview. So Nvidia said, you'll test this, you'll test it like this, against this, and then once you've confirmed that you'll do that, we'll give you the driver. Make sure DLSS is on. Please. <laughs> I think Make that's sure frame gen times frame four. Frame gen, all the, like, those have to, those boxes must be checked. Nvidia has handpicked media that's willing to share the preview, and that in and of itself was the only way to obtain the drivers. These media report that the situation is very unusual. They prefer, what would they prefer? It's very simple. Uh, if Nvidia allowed all of the media to obtain the driver the same way and without any strings attached. I wanna know if I'm buying something, mm -hmm all of the various scenarios and tests. That's why media exists. So they can be like, you know what? I'm gonna try this. Yeah. Or I'm gonna try this. Let me try some workstation stuff. Let me do this. Let me and then you get, let's see what it would look like at home for real. Exactly. And then you get a full rounded review of what this card does instead of getting it and saying, okay, now let's make sure Cyberpunk is with DLSS. Make sure that's on. Make sure this is selected. Like no one wants that. People want like actual real reviews mm -hmm. from media outlets that are allowed to do what they want with Unbiased the Unbiased reviews. Unbiased reviews. NVIDIA, do you remember who your core customer was that helped you have the funds to invest in AI? Who made your money? This is GT Box G Doc. It has an 800 watt power supply and Oculink and it allows you to externally dock a graphics card. Oh, that's kind of cool. Which is very cool. This concept has been adopted by gaming handheld and many PC manufacturers, the external side, uh, waiting for a system that supports all three major standards, USB 4, 
OCU Link and Thunderbolt 5. The latter would be more future-proof solution due to its ship's cost licensing and the limited number of Thunderbolt 5 laptops and mini PCs. So this is an option that uses OcuLink. So plug and play design, meaning you only need to add a graphics card and the necessary power cables. And what's cool about this is it already comes with an 800 watt built-in power supply. Which is phenomenal. You've also got three eight pin connectors, up to 450 watts for the GPU, plus additional PCIe power. The one thing that they don't have on this, now it supports up to 525 watts for GPU support. They don't have a full list of graphics cards supported yet, and they also don't have the price of this system. Okay. So we don't quite know what that's gonna slot in at, but on its face, again, looks like kind of a cool solution. I, I think it's interesting. We'll see as we get more details on price and performance. Let's, uh, let's follow up, see what goes on with this. It's kind of fun. You know what's even cooler than that? It's time for an ad, but we're gonna do it different. You gotta come with me for this one. Let's go. A few moments later. Chance, why don't you tell all the people about this chair that you won't share with anyone? Why don't you take a seat? Sure, yeah, I'd love to. This is sick. If you're serious about PC gaming, your chair should work with you, not against you. The Thunder X3 Flex Pro Loft delivers next level support with its adaptive lumbar flex zone. It automatically adjusts to your posture so you can grind longer without the back pain. The hybrid flex design combines a breathable mesh seat with premium upholstery, keeping you cool in the heat of battle, and it's built on a sturdy aluminum base. It's got 4D armrests that move in every single direction, so you're always locked in no matter your size. Setup. Sleek, stable, and engineered for movement, the Flex Pro Loft isn't just a chair, it's a mf and weapon in your gaming arsenal. Guys, check this out. This is the Flex Pro from Thunder X3. Very cool. All right, Zach, let's take a look at some stuff at Computex. I know everybody is all thinking about Computex, but let's take a look at some of the cool cases. Yeah, let's take a look, man. Just a quick note, we're looking at uh, OC3D TV. We're gonna look at a lot of his stuff. Make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Very good stuff. So is this uh, Asus and not X Noctua? It, yeah, it looks like a Noctua collab card. That's kind of fun. Just the iconic fans. Oh yeah. You, you just can't mistake. I love it. Dude, anything Noctua does, it's just, Reliable, dependable, they do their research. It's actually really cool. I'm a big Noctua fan. All right, now we're looking at the Cooler Master cases. Love these. Look at that, we got a vertical mount. We're really playing with like GPU mounting directions a lot, you know? I'm seeing a change, a whole, like we went vertical, we're like, what if we vertical? Now they're like front of the case, even Lee and Lee on their smaller one is just a front GPU mount on one of their cases they came out with. Sideways mount here that you can see as well, like. And these are cool. This is Cooler Masters, that they're their own shroud that, that you put your own fans in there. Yes. So all the fans in the case match, and I think that's pretty cool. This is the case that I'm really excited about. I'm so excited for this. This is sick for water cooling setups, like being able to show off your reservoir, having that full wraparound look, the shroud covering all the cables in the back completely lines up to the fan on the power supply. If you've got a Cooler Master power supply in that case, you definitely want to. This is the case. I want this case. This is sick. I'm a big fan of screens and cases. Mm -hmm. I've got that height case, that Y74K touch. I would, sorry height, I'd replace it <laughs> with this. This is so, so sick. You've got a full screen on the front. Look at those lights shining down if you want to put a figurine in front of it. That's so cool. Something to display and show off. It's just so different. So these are the Master Frame 360s. Love it. I love this case. Okay, so this is the Meg PC, mm -hmm. M-E-G. Man, that is beautiful. Look at that. There's two screens and then it's a, a center mounted MOBO. Center mounted motherboard, especially, look at that AIO with the tubes hidden. That's very cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Oh, the gold hardware. Yeah, that's clean, man. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Here's the ugly card. There's the bugs. It looks, it looks like what I would assume a graphics card would look like if there were gaming PCs in Borderlands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very Borderlands looking card. The GeForce RTX 5070 12G. Oh, are we getting Cyclone a Cyclone? Visual OC. No, shot. look at this card. Another Cyclone card. Here's the deal. It is a Cyclone card we have with a blow. Else. With a blower, but look, 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 it's got a oh, screen. Oh, they put a screen they on it. They put a screen on it. What is so cool about Cyclone cards as they used to exist, we haven't seen them in a while, is they're just stripped down. Like no frills, super simple cards. No so, shroud. so simple, no shroud. I'm so glad they're bringing that back. That's really fun. Do we know when this is coming out? I don't know. This is the Meg, Mag Vision. So you got an external screen and an internal screen. How many screens do we need on PCs now? Just all of a, them. a bunch? All of them. They, we need the whole, you know what? 
Let's turn a screen into a PC case. I love it. Yo, we heard you like screens, so we put Yo, screens in your screens. Yo, we put seven screens in your PC. We made you a PC out of screens. Out of screens. <laughs> Pimp my PC. I don't hate that. It's fabric? No <gasps> way. Oh, that's that fun. Sick. That's fun. Daughters and wives, I want it. Yeah. I want it for me. My dream case. That's a unique fan. No way. It's like those tower fans that you buy for your room yeah, that are like, like three feet tall. Move and so shit. it's a vertical column fan that pulls in from the side and then shoves it backwards Ooh, in the case. Fun. I like that's that. That's actually really cool. How come no one's done this before? I'm not sure. That's really smart. I that's like that. very space saving and it's good airflow. Looks good too. Yeah. Like cosmetically, that looks a lot better than those cheap fans that would come with a case. Got a screen on a keyboard. Oh, be quiet. It's putting the screens on keyboards. Watch out. Oh, macro buttons. That looks like the 10 key is separate on that. You see that? Yeah, it's attachable. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, you could, for meta PCs, oh, we yeah. could make our own little, little transparencies that pop in there. Oh, that's fun. I like that a lot. I actually like that a lot. Looks like Be Quiet has some cases as well. Kind of looks like a... Uh, there. There's no screens though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, Man, we're, gonna, we're gonna pass. Where's all the screens? screens? Be quiet. Where's the screens, man. <laughs> oh, that's sick. See, these GPU mounting direct or uh, orientations just get crazier and crazier. It's awesome. Whoa, whoa, hold up! Because the way this is mounted, all your cables are coming down into the bottom. That mm. tray that was there that he was showing hides all your cables. Oh, sick. So it is a fully clean vertical setup. The oh, front, sick. back, side, side, and top are completely clean. This is kind of cool. Best part of this: no GPU sag. No. No GPU Not sag. Lit. Do you wish you were at Comptex? I think next year we need to go. Yeah, we should go. You know, if we want to go, we need subscribers. That's the reason why we weren't invited. They said, you don't have enough subscribers. 600 something thousand. Be better if it was a million. That's what they said to <laughs> that's us. What, that's what like, they literally oh, said. What do I do? Guys, that's going to do it for today here at MetaPC's News. Uh, how'd this guy get here? It's been there the whole time. The entire time? Yeah. No way. Oh, what graphics card should he hold next time? Maybe let us know in the comments. How about that? Yeah. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Bye.